Welcome to There is a Method to the Madness. My name is Rob Maxwell, and I'm an exercise physiologist and personal trainer. I'm the owner of Maxwell's Fitness Programs, and I've been in business since 1994. Today is Friday, and I'm finishing up the Is This Good For Me series, and it's been pretty fun, I think. I really like it. We've gotten some good feedback on people liking the daily and shorter podcast. I, you know, I, I relate. You know, I can relate. It's, uh, you know, we want to stay good and focused. I mean, personally, I like all different lengths of podcasts. I really think it depends on the content, but I do get it, and I enjoy fielding questions. I mean, I can't say that enough to people. It's so funny. I'll ask people and say, hey, do you have a question for the podcast? They're like, oh, no, you know, not really. And then, like, the same person will ask you a million questions at another point. It, what is that, stage fright? I don't know. But we all have questions, you know, and it's like it, it's not selfish to ask questions. It's actually good to ask questions because most professionals like fielding real questions. And also it helps other people just like, you know, a school teachers used to say, ask your question because somebody else is afraid to, and they'll be glad you did. So same case. So, you know, it kind of comes back to the same people every time asking questions. And that just tells me that uh, those people really, really want to get better. And today's question is, is it really true? I should be drinking water. And why is it so good for me? All right, so we're going to field that one. First, let me thank Jonathan and Lynn Gillen of the Gillen Group at Realty Pros. They are the best in real estate. What more can I say about that? They do commercial, they do residential. If you need help, contact them at 386-451-2412 or thegildengroup.com. So first, yes, Water really is good for you. And don't laugh, you know, because so many people, I don't, you know, what's, what's worse? Somebody asking a question that is water really good for me? And a lot of you are sitting back going, well, duh. Or is it worse to go, somebody told me drinking water is good for me and I'm not going to ask why so I'm going to do it. I think I'd rather have the person go, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, is this just one of these hacks or is drinking water really good for me? And they didn't ask it like, should we get dehydrated and never drink? No, they meant like the extra water we're told to drink in the last three decades or so. So the short answer is, of course, yes, it is. Now, why? So, Water, hydrating ourselves, is important for everything. The obvious is we don't want to get dehydrated. Now, so, and this person really said why. And so this is the important part to pay attention to because that's what the method to the madness is all about. When we get dehydrated, what actually happens is we have more extracellular fluid versus intra cellular fluid. All right. So that means there's water on the outside of the cells. Now, when we don't have enough hydration, water H2O, and we have too much sodium, what actually happens is the sodium sucks the water outside of the needed cells. So outside of the muscle cells, outside of the organ cells, it sucks it outside. That's why you feel bloated if you're taking in too much sodium and not enough H2O. So sure, the sodium's doing its job. Of course it is. That's why we need everything in balance. But you need the water on the inside of the cells. That's what hydration is all about. So you actually need the right relationship between sodium, the other electrolytes, and H2O. All right? So... Yes, it is. And the first reason why is because all of our cells need water. Just like we need water to grow plants, all of your cells, not just your muscle cells, your brain cells, your liver cells, your stomach cells, your spleen cells, every cell in your body needs it to be fully functioning and it needs it inside, right? 
what good is something going to do on the outside of the membrane? It needs to cross the membrane and come in. So we need the hydration to come through and not let the sodium suck it out, which is what it does. We want more intracellular fluid versus extracellular fluid. We have extracellular fluid. That means that you are dehydrated and the water is on the outside. That's why you feel puffy. That's why maybe your watch is tighter than normal. That's why your rings might be tighter than normal because that water that you want inside of the cells is not inside of the cells. It's on the outside of the cells, making you bloated and puffy. All right. Cells need it. First, first answer. Second answer. It helps you feel satiated. It helps you feel full. So when you drink more water and if you struggle with overeating, which most of the country does, 70% to be exact, because why? Because that's the percentage of overweight and obesity. So that means they struggle with eating. And if you drink more water, you're probably not going to overeat. Not necessarily true, but it helps you. Sometimes we feel hungry when simply we can be thirsty. Anytime you fill up a little more, you're going to feel more full, right? I mean, I shouldn't say right like you should know that and because that's being arrogant. When you fill up your stomach, you are going to feel more full. Remember that. That could work with water and that can work with fiber. Why? Because both of them have zero calories, but they fill your stomach. So if you eat higher fiber foods, you're going to feel more full. You're going to feel more satiated. If you drink more water, you're going to feel more satiated. Okay. And then finally, water cools the body down. That's what it needs. When we start to get hot, what does our body do to cool us off? It sweats. When we sweat and then the sweat dries on our skin, that's what cools us off. All right. So that's why in humidity we feel so hot because sure we sweat, but it never dries off because we just stay wet. And anytime you stay wet, you are going to stay hot. That's why one of the dumbest things somebody can do is soak their t-shirt and go for a run. But some people do that. Ooh, I'm going to cool off. And they, they douse themselves with a hose or something and they're wearing clothes. And sure, they're like cool for like 10 seconds, but then as soon as that water gets to body temperature, now you're just sweltering hot. It's like being in a sauna. The opposite is actually true. You want to dry off your skin every time there's water on it. That will keep you more cool. But again, that's why we get so hot in the humidity because the water never evaporates off of the skin, which is what we want. The more we sweat, the more we need to drink. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, finally, we get into the sodium, even though it's not part of the question, because sometimes when we sweat so much, we're sweating out all of our sodium. So that's when we do want to include sodium in our sports drinks, because again, we want the proper balance. We want a certain amount of fluid inside the cell. We want a certain amount of fluid outside the cell. If we are exercising and we are sweating at a rate quicker than we can drink, that means we're going to start to get dehydrated. And that also means that we're starting to wet our sodium out, which isn't good because hyponatremia can happen, which is water intoxication. And people have actually died from that. Not to get you super scared. It's just simply like people that have been in marathons who were out there for three or four hours or maybe a little bit less and drank nothing but water. And they probably went into it in a dehydrated state, had now flushed out all of their sodium. And that is called hyponatremia. And it's a dangerous situation. So we want to make sure when we're exercising outside in the humidity, especially, and it's longer than an hour or so, we want to make sure that we're getting our proper amount of electrolytes. But other than that, outside of maybe an electrolyte drink in the morning, which I do suggest when you first wake up, it's better just to drink water all day. Don't put things in it. You don't necessarily need the extra sodium when you're not sweating. That extra sodium is just sitting there. And if you're hypertensive, that's not good for you. You really want only want the extra sodium when you're exercising, sweating off of all the sodium and water out of your system. And look, a lot of people just use the electrolytes because they flavor their water. I mean, that's cool and all, but 
that's not the best reasons to do it. All right. They have a method to their madness. All right. So let me thank overhead door of Daytona Beach. Jeff and Zach Hawk are the owners. It is the best garage door company in the state. They've been in existence for 100 years. I can vouch for Jeff and Zach. Absolutely. And they have the best customer service. If you need any help with the garage door, give them a shout at 386-226-3820 and overheaddoordaytona.com.